In 1980, this MLB broke had a magical season for the Oakland A's thanks to a mystical pitch that batters couldn't figure out. What's up? It's your boy Mark Gray in the DMV. You are wherever you are. Let's check out how they did it black in the day on MLBBro.com. MLB Bro presents Black in the Day. Mike Norris was another of the Bay Area bros who followed in the footsteps of Dave Stewart and Vida Blue as must-see starters when they were on the hill. At his best, Norris was almost unhittable at times with electric stuff that put the clamps on confused hitters, and defensively, he was second to none. During the 1980 season, when former Yankees manager Billy Martin took the reins, Norris went 22-9 with 24 complete games and a 2.53 ERA. Norris was so nice, he also earned the American League's Gold Glove Award that year. However, the real story behind that epic season was his screwball. Coming from a right-handed pitcher, which to that point was unheard of by anybody who wasn't a southpaw. He pitched nine complete games where he allowed four hits or fewer. Nars' 22 wins tied Tommy John for second most in the American League that year, and he led the league with just 6.8 hits allowed per nine innings. Norris is one of those prospects who had superstar talent before his body started breaking down. And like many of his counterparts in the Bay Area, he succumbed to cocaine abuse. But Mike Norris played 10 seasons for the A's, finishing 58 and 59 overall with an ERA of 3.89 and 636 strikeouts. He also won two gold gloves. So that's how they roll black in the day. I'm Mark Gray for MLBBro.com. MLB Bro presents Black in the Day. MLBBro.com, covering black and brown major leagues. 